So Google just released Nano Banana 2 and the quality upgrade is absolutely incredible. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this new model inside your NADN workflows to create high quality UGC ads. We'll walk through the difference between Nano Banana 1 and Nano Banana 2, why the product quality looks so much sharper and how the new model handles text inside product images with much better accuracy, which is one of the most important parts of any UGC style ad. So make sure you watch till the end because I'm going to break down every important improvement step by step and show you exactly how to use Nano Banana 2 inside your NA10 AI automations. All right, let's get started. All right, so this is the automation that I'm going to walk through. But before that, I just want to compare two images side by side, one from Nano Banana 1. So if I bring this uh, one up and again, I inputted the same exact prior image and told this automation to generate for me uh, image new image with nano banana so what i did was i uploaded the product so let me bring in the product image all right so this is the product image this is the stanley water bottle um so on the left hand side as you can see this is the image that was created by nano banana 2 you could see the quality how much better it is specifically when it comes to maintaining the text inside the product you can see right here it's almost an exact replica uh, including the logo here and then this is i mean don't worry about the aspect ratio but this is basically the one with nano banana again the background looks good um the, the only difference is you can see right here between the product the it's hallucinating i think it just flipped somehow it flipped the um the writing here so again these are the little nuances that makes a difference uh, in a model specifically when it comes to ads right you want to be able to depend on your uh, uh, image model to be able to create exactly what the product looks like so that way when you're shipping this off to your which we're going to use vo 3.1 to create the video itself the the image looks exactly the exact replica of the product that you're uploading so that's why like i said this is such a big improvement and again i'm going to talk about a few other differences all right, so let me go ahead and start with a quick demo. And while the demo is loading, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the main differences between Nano Banana 1 and 2, specifically when it comes to the different resolutions and everything. All right, so I'm just going to head over to my community here. I'm just going to download uh, this NA10 blueprint so that way we can start with the demo. So I'm just going to download this. By the way, for those of you who are new to NA10, NA10 gives you the ability to download uh, the entire workflow so that way you can upload it onto your own platform. And if you've never used NA10, uh, click on the link in the description. You can create a free account so that way you can utilize this. And then if you're uh, brand new and you're interested in learning about NA10, check out our community. I have a beginner course, intermediate course. And then also if you're interested in learning how to make money with AI, we have an entire uh, AI agency course, five-week program that you can check out. Anyways, all right, so now that I downloaded that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on import from file. We're going to bring in that particular workflow and there you go. Perfect. So let me just zoom in a little bit. All right. So I'm going to execute the workflow here. There's three steps to this. First is going to be uh, us uploading the image of a product. And the second is going to be creating the new image with Nano Banana 2. And then third is going to be using or creating the UGC video using VU 3.1. So let me go ahead and click on execute workflow. So once this gets pulled up, uh, we just need to do a quick description here. And this time I'm just going to choose this screenshot of um, this sunscreen that I put in. So this is basically an image of a sunscreen that I have. I just basically took a quick picture of it and I uploaded it. So I'm just going to upload this. Uh, let me get rid of that. And then I'm just going to put a quick description. Let me get rid of this as well. So I just said a 23 year old female blonde model talks about this amazing sunscreen. That's all. So as soon as I click on submit, now this should initiate the workflow. There you go. So now it's going to go ahead and go through and create the vi uh, video. And then, so I'm going to let this process and I'm going to head over and show you exactly the different differences uh, between the two different models. All right. First of all, as far as access, so Nano Banana is available on different platforms. I'm using file.ai, but feel free to use, for example, uh, Kai API is also something that you can use in order for you to create these UGC ads. Uh, I'm not sponsored by any of these guys, so feel free to use whatever you want. Uh, the official name, I guess, is Nano Banana Pro, but obviously it's Nano Banana uh, 2. And if I go back to my, because I was creating a bunch here. So let me click on this. And I'm going to show you the different aspects of it. So I'm using this particular um, platform here, file.ai. So one of the important things to notice is the fact that you have the ability so if i click on api here so by the way i'm using this documentation for uh the automation that i created which i'm going to talk about in a little bit so i'm going to point out a few key differences here 
first of all, the aspect ratio. As you can see, the aspect ratio, now you have the ability to have multiple aspect ratios from 21 by 9 all the way to 9 by 16, 2 by 3, 3 by 4. All of this is now possible where before uh, with Nano Banana 1, you were kind of stuck with like one or two options. So that's one main difference. The second difference is the possibility of resolution. So now you have the ability to do 1K, 2K, and 4K. Now, a word, of, a word of advice, 4K is very expensive and it takes a very long time to generate. And honestly, you don't need a 4K resolution image, especially if it's for AI UGC ads. So don't worry about putting that up. Uh, but as you can see right here, so you can define the aspect ratio, you can define the output format. Now you can do PNG um, or JPEG and others. And then also you can put multiple images. And this is where another big difference comes in. So now with Nano Banana 2, uh, I mean, even before you had the ability to upload multiple images, but now it does a really good job of combining those images into one particular image, which gives you even further control over the product itself. So if you want to upload multiple products, uh, multiple images of the same product to be able to get a better UGC ad, you can certainly do that. And I'm going to talk about in later videos as well, how you can combine multiple images to have the same uh, workflow. All right. So that's kind of like a few important details. And then obviously, if you want to check this out in uh, Gemini, I suggest using the Gemini app itself. I mean, you can t tell the quality of the images. So for example, I kind of started with saying create a 4K image of a bumblebee tree and a, on a tree next to a dinosaur. I mean, the quality of the image that it generates is absolutely stunning. Uh, so I don't know why that wasn't loading. For some reason, this is not loading. But anyways, you can see right here, and I kept saying, okay, zoom in on the B, and then I kept saying zoom in on the eyes, and you can see how incredible the quality of the image is. I don't know why it's not showing up. But anyways, you can see how good it is as far as like prompting, prompt chaining. So feel free to check that out inside your Gemini app. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. All right, so as you can see right here, our Nano Banana UGC finish. So let me go ahead and grab this uh video to see what came up and then we're going to go ahead and walk through the whole process so i'm just going to paste this okay so let me quickly play this i've been using the copper tone complete 50 and i love it it moisturizes and protects plus it has this classic logo i mean that's pretty cool right and by the way this little uh shaky that you see is because i used uh, vo 3.1 fast so the quality of the video itself is not that great but the image quality itself is really good and as you can see especially even when the person is kind of turning it uh, it looks really really good so now if i want to see exactly what um nano banana 2 generated so let me go actually take a look at that so if i go to my Okay, there you go. So that's what the uh, new image that it generated. So as you can see, it's like very accurate. It, ma it maintained a really good description, the the, um, the the text inside the image, and then also the kind of the person holding it. So like I said, this is where kind of the importance of the good image model comes in, because obviously when you're uploading a product, you want to make sure that the image that's being generated newly to be sent to VO3 for video processing, it maintains all of the text inside, it maintains everything, uh, so that way it doesn't hallucinate as far as like creating some random new product and like that. So that's why, like I said, this is super important. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this step by step. So obviously the first step is uh, the form submission itself. So if I click on the form submission, this is just a, a NA10 form. So if I click on view, this is basically the uploaded product, right? So I have two fields. One is going to be just the image description, which is just a text field. And the second is going to be the image itself. So we're going to be uploading a file. In this case, we're just uploading this particular uh, screenshot of our product. So once you uh, click on submit, this is going to send this and upload this image into our Google Drive. Again, I've done this you know, particular tutorial several times. So if you've seen my previous video, you're probably familiar with this. So I'm going to go over it a little quickly. Uh, so as you can see, we're uploading this particular image to our Google Drive. So that way we can get a, a video or a image link, a URL. So that way we can then process this down the line. So now the next step is describing the image. So I'm using a the OpenAI node to describe the image. So the text input or this is basically telling um, this node to grab the input text or input image and convert it and make sure that it has a good description of the image itself. So we're basically describing the image in detail inside that screenshot, right? And then afterwards, I'm using an AI agent to create 
So as you can see right here, this is basically the user description and the reference image. And then afterwards, this is basically the output, which is the description of the reference image that our OpenAI node did, right? So I'm just saying your task is to create a image prompt because the AI agent here with the system prompt, this long system prompt basically says, hey, you need to create an image prompt for our nano banana. So that's what the output looks like. It's just an image prompt output where you can see it says a 23 year old blonde woman holds the blue tube of copper tone sunscreen labeled uh, complete 50, right? So that's how it captures all those details. The structure output parker, parser, parser is just to make sure that we're controlling the output of this AI agent. So afterwards, we're going to use an HTTP request node to send this to our nano banana dash pro, which is this particular endpoint right here, right? So that's the Nano Banana Pro or Nano Banana 2. Uh, so we're sending that information and that's based on all of the documentation that I just saw, showed you earlier. So we're using a header authorization. This is just basically your header API uh, to, from file.ai. So if I increase or if I expand this, so this is what's happening. We're using the prompt. This is the prompt that's coming in from our previous AI agent. Uh, the image URL is going to be the uploaded URL to our Google Drive. So that's what that is. And I'm literally dragging and dropping it here. We're doing resolution 1K. So this is where you can now do resolution 1K, 2K, 4K. Aspect ratio, I'm doing 9 by 16. Output format, PNG. So that's what this is doing. And afterwards, as you can see, it sends this to Q. So that's why I put a wait node. This is a 40 second wait node. Uh, and then afterwards, we just grab that image, which is basically the URL of the new image that Nano Banana created. And then the third final step is basically creating the UGC video using VO 3.1 fast, actually. Uh, so if I go to video prompt, it's the same thing, right? We're grabbing the uh, user description and the image. And then afterwards, same thing. The system prompt just says, hey, you need to create a UGC style video prompt now so that we can send this to our VO 3.1 API. So same thing. The output of this is just the video prompt now. Um, and now I'm also uh, putting here a HTTP request node. And this time I'm reaching out to VO 3.1 fast image to video because now we have an uploaded image. And at the bottom, all I'm doing is I'm sending the prompt and the image URL. The prompt is basically this video prompt from their AI agent output. The image URL is basically the new image that Nano Banana created. So that's all I'm doing here. <clears throat> And then afterwards, so this is going to send this to our API request there. So it says in queue. Uh, the next step, I'm putting a 20 second node. And then afterwards, I'm getting the video status. So this is just an API call to see whether the status of the video is completed or is still uh, in progress. So afterwards, the if node, so this just basically says if the status of the video is complete, move on to the next node, which is getting the URL of the video. If not, it's just going to loop through and keep going. So as you can see, it looped nine times before getting that video. And afterwards, the last step is just getting the URL, which is basically what you can grab here and copy into your browser, where then you can just download this basically and use it for your social media and everything else. All right. So that's pretty much the whole uh, you know, automation there. Uh, again, feel free to tweak this out, tweak this and make changes. I'm going to plan to do more videos on this, especially when it comes to uploading multiple product images. So that's going to be next step. I already did that in the intermediate level here. Uh, so I'm going to be basically doing something similar. Um, so basically grab that from here. Again, if you're interested in learning any of them, I have a beginner's course, intermediate course, advanced course. We have voice AI, we have vibe coder, uh, and we also have our um, how to make money with AI because I have an AI agency. So we talk through how you can start your AI agency, start making money uh, with AI and getting your first paying client. So make sure you check out the community. Make sure you like and subscribe because I've got a lot of videos that are upcoming that you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.